Hi, this is Tamara Rubin, Let's Safe Mama, letsafemama.com, and we'll be posting this video on YouTube along with links that we mentioned in the video. So please watch it on YouTube. It will also cross post it on Instagram, but there aren't clickable links on Instagram. So today what we're doing is we're finding items mm -hmm. that I've tested and reported on my website. This is a vintage Hull ceramic. Can you see the logo there mm -hmm. on the bottom? H-U-L-L -L ceramic. Mm -hmm brand made in USA coffee cup and I I I don't know I think these were made from the 40s through the 70s <clears throat> and so they're very nostalgic for a lot of people and what I have seen is a lot of people have these in their summer cabins because they have the kind of rustic homemade look although they were factory made yes obviously. it kind of looks like some of the ones on the TV show friends as well I'm not okay. sure <laughs> that could be and so when this was tested with an XRF instrument on this contiguous glaze, which means it's the same glaze on the outside that's on the inside. So it's not like it's lead free on the inside. This tested positive for 299,800 parts per million lead. That is almost 30% lead in the glaze of this cup. If you drink from this cup, you would poison yourself, especially if you're drinking hot or acidic beverages like coffee or tea or hot and acidic beverages. The amount of lead that's considered unsafe in the paint glazer coating of an item intended for use by children is anything 90 parts per million or up. Um, and this is 299,800 parts per million lead. Very unsafe. These should never be used. You should smash them in your trash to make sure that nobody uses them. Um, so what we're going to do today is see whether or not this test positive with a home test kit. Now I'm anticipating that it may not because a lot of the high lead ceramics that I've tested with the home test kit um, don't test positive even though they're very dangerous. And the reason I'm doing this is to show you that even though something might be very high lead, it might not test positive. Although this one might, I don't know, I haven't tried. So Avi, um, here, give that to me and I'll hold it on the, on the cup. And we're gonna turn off the light so we have a better contrast. And I'll, I'll turn down the contrast on my computer here. So there's an article about this on the website. So I'll, I'll put that in the links. You can't really see the light, can you? You can see it when I turn down the exposure. Can you see the blue and purple? Or not? Yeah. Yes? A little bit. There's okay. also a fair bit of reflection. There's well. a reflection. So there's there's little blue and purple specks. That means nothing. Mm -hmm. And people are saying, what happens if it's blue before? Like the blue means nothing. It just is the iridescence. And I like to show that, not the iridescence, the lume, lume, what do you call it? The fluorescence. The of fluorescence the, can, of. Just random, can you know, uh, dust and stuff. Dust, like right. Just like when you go under a black light at a club and you're wearing a white shirt. Yeah. Um, so we're going to spray the spray here. And we're going to give it a minute to react. It's always good to give it a little bit of time to react. And if it detects lead, it glows bright green. And again, we're, sh we're shining this on here. This is a dangerous cup that is 299,000, basically 30% lead. And it is not reacting to the, um, the glowing kit. Can you see the blue and, and the light, the spot of light moving without any green? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So that's my son, Avi. And then I'm going to just for fun, because if, if you look at the inside, can you see this constellation of specks? Mm -hmm. The inside is going to be more worn and there's a chance that the inside might be more reactive with the home test kit. Um, but we don't know. So you see the blue specks mm -hmm. and I'm going to go spray here. Um, and see if there's any green. And really, I don't see any green in there. It is not reacting. Do you see any green? I don't. I just see blue. Um, I, I'm just seeing blue. So uh, hold on one second. I will turn the light back on. You got the frame, and I'll hold the I'll hold mm -hmm. the camera. So what we're demonstrating is that uh, again, this is people are buying these as a home test kit, which is okay for testing paint. It works on some ceramics, it works on some consumer goods, but it doesn't work on all. And it's really important to know that just because this tests negative with the home test kit does not mean it's safe. You could actually really quickly poison yourself if you drank out of this every day for even a week and had coffee in it. It's just super scary um, that people might think, oh, I tested with the home test kit and it's negative for lead. It's not negative for lead. It's positive for a very high level of lead. So the home test kits are useful for testing certain things, but not for testing everything. 
You have a question, Avi? Well, yes, they also only test for lead, right? And so it might have other toxicants yeah. in it. Well, I'm, I'll look, I'll, I will put the article with um, the link to this article with the YouTube video for this. It tests positive for lead, barium, selenium, iron, vanadium, titanium, and man uh, manganese. So it doesn't have other toxicants per se, although barium is considered a toxicant, but in the glaze like this, it's a glass hardener. So, um, you know, if, if, uh, if it has other toxicants like mercury, arsenic, uh, antimony, or cadmium, of course, it also won't detect those things. So learn more at leadsafemama.com. Check out the links on the YouTube version of this video. Subscribe to the Lead Safe Mama YouTube channel. We have, uh, I don't know, 3,000 some YouTube subscribers right now, not very many. So love to see that boost up because more people get this information on YouTube when it's not throttled because kind of um, Facebook and Instagram throttle. Uh, the reach of these videos. So I'm looking forward to seeing more of you on YouTube and please post questions there. I do my best to answer them personally and I have a few assistants who also help me answer questions. Thanks for being here. Tamara Rubin, Lead Safe Mama, leadsafemama.com.